Hello, and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be making the GI anchor follow the camera. Now, why do we need this? This is only necessary when you have very large environments, like something like this. Notice as we move around along with the spaceship, the camera follows the spaceship, and as the spaceship as moves around, starts avoiding obstacles, and then it's going to go ahead and land back where it started from. However, you will notice that as soon as we turn GI on, so let's turn GI on here and turn off our uh, auxiliary light, and uh, let's go ahead and play this animation. You will notice that once the spaceship reaches a certain uh, point in space, the illumination of the environment stops. And why is that? Well, this is because of the GI range. And the GI range is directly linked to where the anchor is. So let's go ahead and turn on the anchor and let's go to anchor settings and turn on what is called the GI range. The GI range, I'm going to go ahead and let's look at it from a different camera here so you can see where the GI range is. It's the screen cube right here. This is the area where, the old, where all the voxels reside. So what's happening here is, you can see here where the camera is, the camera that's following the spaceship is. And I'm going to play through, and I'm going to turn the voxels on so you can see um, when and where those voxels stop. And I'm going to scrub through the animation. So the spaceship is going to start spinning around. And once it reaches certain points, see how the cubes start to disappear? This is because we have reached the, ed the limits of where the GI range is. So if you have an environment that is extremely big, what you want to do is, A, you can always extend the GI range. However, the bigger you make the GI range, the bigger the voxels become and the less accurate the GI solution becomes. So what you want to do here, in some instances, you might want to actually have the uh, anchor point, which is the center of that GI range, to actually follow the camera. And to do this is quite simple. All we gotta do here is let's go to camera. Let's turn on those voxels off so you can see what is going on. Let's grab back a little bit all the way to the beginning. I'm gonna select uh, our anchor point here. And I'm gonna move it slightly upwards so it's more visible, like so. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to link to camera. Notice here the name of the camera, which is the camera we have right now. And now as we play the animation, you will notice that the illumination coming from those light emitted emissive surfaces that the uh, spaceship have, see, is illuminating all throughout the environment. And this is because the anchor is locked to the camera. So basically it's following along with you. Now, if we take a look at, these, uh, at the uh, GI range from a third point of view, you will notice here that the GI range is actually moving with the camera, and thus our spaceship is always inside that voxel space, so the GI is constantly on all the time. So you don't have to have uh, a huge GI range in order to get that GI effect from those light emissive surfaces. So this will give you a more refined GI look and at the same time save you some memory as well. So let's go ahead, let's go back to our main camera and let's start the animation from the beginning so we can see the full effect. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this invisible and turn off the GI range. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play the animation. As you can see, it's illuminating the entire environment as it passes by. And there it stops. And that's it. It is that simple. By the way, if you're interested in uh, this cool uh, spaceship, you can get it from the marketplace. Just do a quick search for Warlord's Mothership, and you can get it there. Okay? All right. So this will conclude our tutorial, and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, have a good night.